Here, we are with another amazing video for you on a very interesting comparison between B cell receptors and T cell receptors. So, get ready to expand your knowledge and discover the wonders of immunology as we navigate through the complexities of the human immune system. To better grab a topic, I believe we should start with the basics. So, how many of you remember what are the receptors? Well, many of you may have been familiar with the concept, but it would be hard to memorize the precise definition of receptors. But that's what we are here for. So, let's look at its definition. Well, a receptor is a molecule that can be found inside the cell or on the surface of a cell binds to the specific molecules or substances and ultimately cause a specific outcome or a specific effect in the cell. And there are plenty of receptors found in our body. But here, the two vital sets of receptors that we are going to learn about are B-cell receptors. We simply call them BCRs and T-cell receptors. We can call them TCRs. If we fit them into the definition of receptors, we say that both these BCRs and TCRs are protein molecules that are actually the transmembrane receptors and so are found over the surface of immune cells. And as the name shows, BCRs are found over the surface of B cells and TCRs are found over the surface of T cells and once encounter any antigen, they get activated and then produce some response inside their respective cells by initiating a signaling cascade. Both these T-cell receptors, TCRs, and B-cell receptors, BCRs, are the integral components of the adaptive immune system, where they are known for their vital roles in recognizing and responding to antigens. So, we can say their main role is antigen recognition, and they do their action while anchoring over the surface of B and T lymphocytes, respectively. An individual T cell contains around 10,000 to 30,000 identical copies of a single TCR. And similarly, there are around 10 lakh BCRS over the membrane of each B cell. Thus, although I'll show a single TCR and BCR over the cell surface, but just imagine that there are plenty of them attached over the surface of T lymphocytes. If we compare them, then we find that there are many similarities between TCRs and BCRs. Like, they have a structural resemblance. As both are made of polypeptide chains, both are found over the surface of immune cells. And we know, these are B cells, and T-cell, respectively. Also both these transmembrane receptors play a similar primary function, that is antigen recognition. Both exhibit a high degree of diversity, allowing them to recognize a wide range of antigens. And upon the antigen binding, both TCRs and BCRs initiate signal transduction pathways that activate downstream intracellular signaling cascade. Also, both these receptors cannot initiate a cellular response all alone. But they need some coreceptors like cluster differentiation proteins to enhance signal transduction. So we can say that both these receptors are related in terms of structure, function, and many other properties, which highlight their shared mechanisms for directing the adaptive immune response, and thus makes them extremely important components of immune system. So, this was just an overview about both B-cell receptors and T-cell receptors. While they share similarities in function and structure, there are also key differences between these two types of receptors. So, in this video, we will go through the detailed difference between B-cell receptors and T-cell receptors. 
where we will compare their key characteristics, such as structural variations, functional variations, cell signaling comparison, and much more. So, let's the battle begin. Starting with the comparison of their structural features. Ditch the hefty textbooks and embrace the convenience of learning on the go. Our interactive video content keeps you engaged. Making learning medicine enjoyable 